Welcome back, everybody. We're back here with the uh, white trash bear. <laughs> no. Actually, if anything, we're back with the originals, the big mega breweries of America. The big boys. You know that the old ones has been around for a long time. Good old Paps Blue Ribbon from the Paps Brewing Company. And I got to give props to the Paps Brewing Company for maintaining itself, unlike Anheuser-Busch and, and everybody else almost, for the, like Miller Coors, you know, they sell themselves off, they merge and, and divide and all that crap, whereas Paps is kind of, you know, if anything, they just bought other companies, They but they've always stayed the Paps Brewing Company. So I did some research on Paps, which is pretty cool, and how they were founded, uh, back in 18 let's see 1844 by Jacob Best and was by 1889 named after Frederick Pabst so it is a currently a holding company which contracts the brewing of over two dozen brands of beer and malt liquor that's pretty neat and these brands include such things as like Ballantine, um, Stroh, um, Rainier, I think the one I was thinking of, Schlitz, Paps owns Schlitz, Stro, stuff like that, um, Lone Star Brewing, there's a bunch of them on here, you're going to have to look this stuff up, it's pretty interesting, so, anyways, like I said, I found in 1844, I'm thinking, wow, that's a long time ago, you know, it's pretty old, and I'm thinking like the oldest in America, Yingling, right, so, I was trying to compare them with Yingling, and the England got them beat by like 20 something years or almost 20 years in 1829. So the England is still definitely the oldest brewery in America. So what I have here is their flagship beer, the Pap, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. Um, they got some neat artwork on here. It's always been your beer. Now make it your can. We are proud to present Ashley Dreyfus as the winner of the 2021 PV Art or PVR Art. Uh, yeah, PVR Art can competition. To find out how you can become next year's winner, go to passthroughribbon.com. So that's her artwork there. And I'm sure many of you have seen these cans, but it says, uh, this is the original Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. Nature's, <laughs> nature's choicest products provide its uh, prized flavor. Only the finest of hops and grains are used. Selected as America's Best in 1893. That's when it was selected. And I believe that's when they got the Blue Ribbon. And that's Because it used to be Paps Lager. And that's when they got selected to Blue Ribbon and they became Pat's Blue Ribbon ever since. They were established, obviously, 1844 in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right? Yes. I would have found that out, probably. <laughs> All right. Nothing else special here. This comes in at... <clears throat> okay it does not say i gotta tell you one thing that's one thing that really ticks me off is when i cannot tell what the abv is and it just ticks me off all right 4.8 percent <clears throat> okay 4.8%. They should put that on the can instead of me having to dig through it online. Here we go. As always, it smells like beer. And when I say that, usually because it's usually beers like these that just give off that classic beer smell. Whoa. Uh-oh. 
got a little aggressive on the pour there. Nice. It's got a very similar color to the bush. Now, I've never been a big PBR fan. I've never been... I never disliked PBR. You know, I've always liked them. I've never... It's not like... They've never been my choice beer. Let's put it that way. It's never been my choice beer. I've, but I've never, like, not liked them. So, it's got a better head on it, but that could just be from my aggressive pouring. Yeah, big old bubbles, so especially from what I see, the big old bubbles, very spongy looking and popping real fast. That's pretty clear. It's just a little bit darker than the bush, I'd say. But not by much. I mean, it's still in the same area of, I'd say between two and three. Between two and three on the SR, what, uh, the, the SRM. Because it's still really light really light colored it's really light definitely between two and three yeah for sure now there's a little bit more happening here than with the bush for sure i think in my opinion it's like Almost, I think like Miller High Life has more of a, more flavor than this. Definitely more than Bush. Working through all these, you know, the cheap beers basically, but they're beers that have long history in them really. So that's, you know, what I like about them. I mean... This one definitely, I think, would have more flavor, a bit more full-bodied, better on the palate than most beers. It's got a good aftertaste, just multi hoppy. It's like the the the, the perfect mass-produced lager, you know, which is always based off the Pilsner style, which because there's so many different styles of lager. And when the Pilsner style came out, it became so popular that everybody emulated and tried to, you know, copy the Pilsner. And that's where a lot of this comes from, was copying the Pilsner. You know, a lot of these clear beers, these clear lagers. Because there's a lot of dark lagers, amber lagers, and all. there's just so many different st styles of lager in ale. Because basically, there's only two, uh, three different types of beers, and you got... Ales, lagers, and wild. You know, wild fermented, you know, and top fermented, bottom fermented. And they consider the top fermented, I believe, is the, uh, <laughs> I've been drinking today. Bottom fermented, I'm pretty sure, is lager, and top fermented is ale. Yeah. Ales are more, have more heat, whereas lager is colder. So, fermented, during the, the temperature for ferment, fermentation. But it's still pretty good. You know, I definitely wouldn't turn them down. It's, I think that I would definitely choose this over like Bush. So, for a big B beer review grade or review or rating, I'm still debating on that. I wish somebody would maybe watch these and leave me an opinion and I'll go by that. Because I'm leaning still towards being the big B beer review grade or big B beer review rating. You know, I can abbreviate certain things either way. But right now I'm going to go with the grade. And I'm going to give this one a C-. minus. So, a good old C-. minus. It's a passing grade. It's a C. Better than the bush. So, be good with it. Type of beer, though, it's good with anything. It's refreshing. It's downable. But it's just nothing special there's just nothing really that special there for me that stands out and in my opinion it just it's just 
Maybe it's just because it's so old and it's just so wore out, maybe. I don't know. But it's definitely one that you can sit on and you ride around on your lawnmower or sit it by your pool or on your barbecue and just sit and enjoy. It's refreshing. You can definitely chug them down. Just be smart about it. <laughs> Until next time, y'all. Salute.